Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial for Scratch with basic computer coding games using Scratch. This one we're going to call the coin catch game and we have our character flying through the sky collecting coins. Okay, And at the end of this short tutorial you will be able to uh, code this game. So you see he flies up and down and catches the coins as many as he possibly can. Okay. So yeah, a lot of fun, easy to do, and looks pretty effective. So how do we do that? Well, we click on the Create button in Scratch. Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to get our background. So because we have like a moving background, it needs to be something quite flat. So I'm going to have a very sort of simple background like this, the blue sky background. Okay, now the character we want is not the regular scratchy sprite okay we want the flying one okay so let's see if we can find him cat flying there you go this is the one we want and this one's good because he's got like two positions okay he's got up and down and we're going to be using both of those positions throughout the game okay um i'm going to make him just a little bit smaller okay great what we need to do now is also add some other um uh, items in the environment like trees and buildings and they'll be moving um, to give us the impression that he's flying okay so let's have a look what else we've got maybe a tree fabulous we'll take that tree okay and that's a little bit big so I'm gonna make that a bit smaller as well mm, that's still a bit big okay perfect okay and we'll add uh, what else have we got a building perhaps. Perfect. Oh, we've got lots of different buildings here. So oh yeah, I like this one. Okay, great. So I'm gonna put that, and that's also a little bit big, so I'm gonna make that a bit smaller as well. Okay, fantastic. Okay, good. Right, what else do we need? Well, we also need coins. And there are not um, coins in here, in the uh, Scratch sprites. We need to find those on another website. A good website to go to get those is High Clip Art. So type in coin. And you'll see there's lots of PNG files with coins here. Um, that's the one I used previously. I quite like this one. Let's have this one here. Okay, so find your coin and then download it. Okay, so we've downloaded our coin. We now need to um, head over here and um, upload it. And we'll be having a number of coins. We'll just use the one coin and then we'll change the coding for each of them. Okay, so there's this one dollar coin. Why are all the coins looking the same? And obviously this is far too big, so we need to make this a lot smaller. Maybe just 15% perhaps. Yeah. Okay, so we have our basics here already, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by coding the um, items which move in the background. Oh, one more thing which will make this look good is a cloud. So if we put a cloud in the sky, there we are. That will also give the impression of flying by. So let's go for that cloud. I wonder if they've got another costume. No, just one cloud. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay, fantastic. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to code the items which are going to be moving across the screen to give the impression that we're, we're flying. Okay, so we start off with the tree. And as always, we start with the when flag clicked. And then go to okay. But what I'm going to do, I want him to be at uh, 220. I want him to be right at the beginning of the uh, screen. So 220 is right at the beginning of the screen. Okay. And then after that, forever, slowly move across the screen. Change x by minus five.
Okay, so this is what's going to happen now, okay? So the tree's going to go there, and it's going to move, and it gives the impression of moving across the, the screen, okay? But what we need to do now is add something so that when it gets to the end, it will go back again, okay? So we need to say, if the position is less than Okay, so we go click on here the x x position. If the x position is less than two hundred and forty, okay, then you'll go back to where we started from. Back to this position here. Okay, yeah, it goes to the end exactly, exactly as we wanted. Perfect. Okay, good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a similar sort of thing with the um, building. Okay. So we can go ahead and we can actually drag the code from the tree over to the building. Okay. But obviously the problem is now they're both on top of each other and the building's a little bit low. <coughs> so. First thing we want to do is we want to get the building up to the right level, which is about there. So you can see this now is. So you see if I put it here, it's minus uh, 22. So we're going to go over here and we're going to write in minus 22. And over here, minus 22. Okay, let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay. They're still on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hide and a weight and then a show. Okay, so hide, show and wait. But they don't need to wait long, just maybe 1.5 seconds will probably be about the right amount of time. 1.5. Obviously it depends how fast your game is, but in this one I think that'll be fine. So let's have a look. Does this work properly? 1.5 seconds, there we go. And they just continue on like that perfectly. Okay, fabulous. Okay, what I'm going to do now is the same thing for the cloud. So I'll drag my code from the building down to the cloud. Put that in there. Okay, and let's see how this looks. Okay. So it's working, but obviously the cloud is a bit too low. And also it's right on top of the... Um, Right on top of the building, which is silly. So I want to move the cloud up to the top here, somewhere like that. So let's see, 140, 135. Yeah. Okay, but I don't want it to be exactly over the um, building. So let's do a two-second experiment. Okay, great. That looks better, I think. Okay, fantastic. So there are the three moving objects coded already. Okay, now we get on to coding the flying cat. Okay, and again, this is very similar to what we've done before in any of the other videos on this website. When the flag is clicked, forever, if. So obviously we'll do if up, if down, if left and if right, okay. Okay, so if key up, down, left and right. And then obviously we need to move it, okay? So change X and change Y. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see if that works, shall we? But yeah, so we have our flying scratch. Little mix up there. Okay. Right. Now, what I also want to do is I want to change the costume because we have a, as we said just earlier, you know, we've got these two, two costumes for this guy. We have the regular flying one and then up. So when I click up, I'm going to make him uh, change his costume that way, okay? Switch costume to costume B. Yeah. Okay, and then when it's uh, going down, we'll switch costume to costume A. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, perfect. Okay, fantastic. Right, now what we need to do is start coding the coins, okay? So, onto our coin, and we just code the one coin. It's not too much code, and then we just duplicate that for each of the other coins, nice and easy. Okay, so, we need two of these. Okay, one to do the score. We'll do that one first. So variables, make a variable, score. Okay, so when the game begins, we set the score to zero. And then forever. If touching We're touching the flying cat. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll change the score. And then we'll also send him off to somewhere, off to the, uh, we'll send the coin back to the beginning, okay? So they will then fly again, okay? So. Well, we want it to be random, so we use this one here again. Pick random for Y. Zero up to uh, 220, right? Okay, let's see how that works now. Oh, he's not, he's not moving yet, but we can see that if we do click it, yeah, it disappears. Okay, it moves randomly to different places. So all we got to do now is get the coin moving. Okay, so again, this coin moving again, very easy. We just use the forever loop. We put everything in minus five, that way everything's moving at the same speed. And then if okay, so what we have in here is if the X position less than 240, and then what we'll do is we'll go to this position here, okay? All right. Okay, so if we click on the flag here, we can have a test and see if this is working with one coin. And we see the coins moving when it gets clicked and the score is going up. Yeah, and the coins moving around to random different, different spots, okay? Great, well, what we're gonna do now is uh, add more coins so very easy we simply click the duplicate button over there duplicate 
Okay, there you go. Lots of fun. So catching lots of coins. Obviously, you could add a timer to that later on, and I'll show you in a, a future tutorial about how to add a timing switch to this. Okay, and there you go. A very fun flying game. Okay, when you finish, make sure you put your title on the game. So let's call this the flying cat coin game. Okay. And then hit the share button and you're ready to share your game with your friends and family and students and colleagues and that's the end of another tutorial so like you say a very fun very easy to code very easy to create flying cat coin game if you liked it please hit the like button and please remember to subscribe and check out all our other coding videos on teachers notes thanks for watching